good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is, we are gonna try our best to make today a good day. So if you saw the last vlog, you know I had not been feeling great the past almost two weeks now. Just a lot of not fun pregnancy symptoms, but I'm starting to feel way better, honestly. Still a little nauseous, still a little dizzy, still a little bit of back pain, but that's all, that's kind of just pregnancy. <laughs> and this level we can handle, we can get through, we can function, hopefully, like somewhat of a normal person. And that's what I'm gonna try to do today. I'm gonna try and like get my life in order because Sunday was my birthday. Yesterday, Monday, I went and had like all my blood work and stuff done just to make sure there isn't anything like in my blood work that would cause me to be feeling this way, that it is just, you know, normal pregnancy, bad symptoms. That was in the morning and then I spent all day yesterday on my computer scheduling and planning and also low-key freaking out <laughs> because I realized, I, I, well, I wanted to plan out my main channel videos like for the next few months. I always do that. I sit down and plan out my content for the next like three-ish months in advance. And I realized that pretty much brings me to when baby girl is gonna be born. <laughs> and that's really exciting. I'm so excited, but also it made it feel so much closer. I think in my brain, May is still so far away. I am 23 weeks now, but then looking at my video schedule and realizing actually in terms of like video planning, it, there's like 13 or 14 videos planned before the baby gets here. And like that blows my mind. <laughs> I don't know how to process that. So I started having a little bit of a mini freak out about just that. <laughs> And so pretty much all all day yesterday I spent on my computer planning out stuff not only for work and for videos but also like for baby. And as kind of scary as it was to have that realization and that brain blast, it was also I think really wait, what time is it? Okay, I'm good. <laughs> it was also I think really good for me to realize that this this isn't going to be forever. Even if I continue to feel awful through my whole pregnancy, this will not last forever and at the end of this, I am going to get to meet the sweet baby that is kicking me in the bladder right now. <laughs> Literally as we speak, she is kicking me in the bladder and it makes me feel like I'm gonna pee my pants. <laughs> but anyways, so after that, I decided that today I want to be getting everything in my life back in order because everything's kind of been on pause for like two weeks. And yesterday gave me a really good start on that because I got all my computer stuff, all my email, all my video scheduling in order. And I actually have therapy in five minutes. So I'm gonna go get cuddled up on the couch and hopefully have a productive therapy session that will also set me up for a good day. So therapy was, it was, it was good. It was emotional. I feel like it's always emotional, which is hard. I feel like sometimes kind of opening up that band-aid and like letting all the feelings out. It feels easier in the moment to just not, but I know it's like better for me and my mental health in the long run to talk about my feelings and open those things up and talk about coping mechanisms for if I feel like I'm getting into a bit of a depression again. So it was good, it was good. I, I really like my therapist. I've been seeing her now for like six months, I think. And she's great. She specializes in bipolar disorder, which is what I have, but she is actually pregnant too. And she's going on maternity leave for like three months next month. And so I'm like, I, I don't know. I'm a little like, should I find a new therapist just for that three months? Or should I just, you know, work on all the things that she's helped me with and all the tools she's given me up to this point in that three months. Luckily she comes back from her maternity leave right before I'm due. So I'll be able to have like sessions with her as I'm gearing up for birth and going through postpartum. And I think in that season of my life, I'm definitely gonna, gonna wanna be proactive about seeing my therapist. But I don't know, I'm just like torn if I should try to find someone new for that, this upcoming three months. But finding a new therapist is so hard and like it was so hard for me to find her and get in a good group with her, so I don't know. I gotta figure it out. But um, I actually just finished filming a bit for my main channel. I'm working on a one year update on the curly girl method. So there is like a bunch of different clips and segments that I'm filming for like different ways. I wash my hair and style it and revive the curls. So today I just put on my swimsuit and set up the tripod over there and was like talking through as I washed my hair, which was good. It went well, but usually washing my hair with the routine I did today takes me like 10 minutes. But because I was filming, it took me like 20 minutes. And by the time I was done, I felt 
really just kind of dizzy and shaky so i went and laid down for a little bit i'm surprised my hair still looks decent because i laid down on it wet for like 20 minutes <laughs> but i don't think it looks too dented i think it's gonna dry fine also forgive my uh my zit sticker this chin situation is still uh in progress <laughs> i feel like every time i heal a chin zit like six more pop up so just it's gonna be like this for the next i don't know how long probably my whole pregnancy <laughs> we are drinking water taking all my supplements we are we are getting back on track all right so i've got i've got quite a bit that i want to get done today and tomorrow but i'm gonna pace myself i don't want to overdo it just because i'm finally starting to feel you know a little bit better i've got some computer work that i want to get done upstairs so i think i'm gonna start with that also it's my first time heading up into my office in like two weeks all the work that i've been doing you know since i haven't been feeling well has just been on my laptop in bed or on the couch so this is like this is a big deal this is like the commute to the office <laughs> All right, I am done with my computer work. I'm really happy with the progress I made. I actually did more than I had originally planned. And so I think I'm gonna move on to some of my like house tasks. There are quite a few packages downstairs that I have just had piling up at the base of the stairs. Last night, I actually went through and like separated what things are for me and what things are for videos, like main channel videos. I brought the main channel packages upstairs and then I taped up the labels on all the other packages, the me stuff. So I figured we could do an unboxing today, go through all of that. There's a lot, uh, a lot of baby stuff, <laughs> some other miscellaneous things. So let's, let's head downstairs and we will unbox. So I moved everything onto the table. I cut the packages open so that I don't have to fiddle with them on camera. So quite a bit there, but that's actually, that's not everything. <laughs> right here in front of me are some big old boxes from Crate and Barrel. Ooh, fancy. Steven and I decided it, it was time for us to get like a real adult comforter duvet bed set. We've kind of always had like a, a mishmash of stuff of different sheets and pillowcases and blankets and quilts and I feel like it's about time and also I just I want my bedroom to feel more cohesive more put together a relaxing space to be in so actually I think I'll unbox all that stuff first because I want to toss it in the wash that way it's done in time for tonight and we can set it up and and sleep with our new set. So this is our duvet cover and then underneath it is the actual like duvet insert like the the blanket part itself uh, Oh my god, imagine tip it ah, Pregnant lady versus duvet insert. It's the showdown of the century and then this box is too filler pillows because right now on our bed we just have like the pillow that I sleep on and the pillow that Steven sleeps on and so we got like matching king size shams that we'll use with these two to like make the bed look more full and cohesive and then we ordered two of like the the pillow shams that match the duvet cover for those pillows but they only sent one and it was just like loose in the box <laughs> so I don't know if they're shipping the other one separately I should check my order, because as of right now, we have one king size matching pillow sham. And then the last box is actually not from Pottery Barn. It's from a brand called Slumber Cloud. The Pottery Barn sheets just seemed like kind of overpriced and overrated. I found these ones online and they seemed like really highly recommended and rated. So we got two sets of these. So I just brought it all upstairs, but Steven actually has his clothes in the wash right now. So he said he would just swap the, the sheets and stuff in when his stuff is done. So back downstairs to the unboxing. Using the handrail, just like I'm supposed to. All right, so first, this is, this is a couple miscellaneous things I got on Amazon. All things for baby girl. First, I thought this this was so smart. I saw this in a YouTuber's newborn, like most used products video. It's a mini portable UV sterilizer. It can like clip onto a bag or a stroller. And the woman in the video said that her baby would drop and throw her pacifier all the time when they were out and about. And then with this, she would just, you know, wipe off any dirt or anything on it, pop it in here for a minute and it's sterilized. And I thought that was so smart. So I'm planning on probably hooking this onto my diaper bag. And then we we decided on the pacifiers that we wanna try first for baby girl. I've heard really good things about the MAM pacifiers. So I got two 
sets of these. And from what I've heard from just like mom friends and also the internet, it's really hard to know what brand of a pacifier your baby is, is gonna take to. So if baby girl doesn't like these, we might end up going with a different brand, but we're gonna start with the MAM ones. So I got this set that is specifically for newborns, and then I got this set that is for zero to six months. And then the last thing in here, I thought this was so cute, this little beaded pacifier clip. So all these are going into the baby bin, which we had just one bin for baby stuff that we've been adding to, you know, since we got pregnant. And that bin is now starting to, to overflow as we get more stuff in preparation for her. And so what I really need to do is go to Target and get like a couple more bins and just some organizational stuff. But I've been, I've been putting that off. Actually, I've been putting a lot of errands off. So one of these, one of these next few vlogs, I'll probably do like a full errands day where I get that done and a million other things. Okay. This box, this box is from Bye Bye Baby. So another thing we decided on recently is what bottles we wanna use. I am planning on trying to breastfeed and these bottles are, I've heard are really great for like specifically primarily breastfed babies because they're designed for like a similar, a similar latch and a similar even texture and shape. And if I am able to breastfeed, I will be pumping from time to time as I get back into work and filming. So we got a set of four of these. And then also in here is a little grass drying that for bottles and stuff. Bye Bye Baby was having a, a pretty decent sale like a week and a half, two weeks ago. And so a couple of the things that Steven and I had already decided on and had been eyeing that were part of that sale, we decided to, to get. So I think there's one other Bye Bye Baby package. Yes, so this is this is an adjustable backseat mirror. So you clip this to the back seat since your baby's in a rear facing car seat. And that way you can still see them and check up on them as you drive. We're gonna need two of these. One one for Steven's car and one for my car. But I figure I'll just start with one and we can set it up and see if, if we like this one and decide if we wanna get another one of this brand or a different brand for the second one. Last baby thing, this is from Gather. They make like play mats and stuff. I've, I mentioned them before because I bought like a bigger play mat for baby girl, but this is actually their micro mat. I got the double-sided one and I am gonna be using this as a like portable changing mat. So here is the front and the back or the front and the back. It doesn't really make a difference. It's reversible, but it has two different colors. It's supposed to be really easy to like wipe down. It's waterproof, it, it's compact, it folds up really nicely. So this is gonna be our, our kind of on the go changing mat that I'll probably keep in the diaper bag. So that is the baby stuff. Then we have a couple packages, just miscellaneous things. This first one is, this is from, oh, that's right. I know what this is. This is from Fanjoy. Back in December, I did a video where I tried merch from YouTubers who I actually watch and I bought a sweatshirt from Color Me Courtney and it got delivered this week. It didn't get here in time for the video, but I said in that video that I would do an unboxing on the vlog. So here we are. It's the unboxing on the vlog now that it's here. Oh, this is so cute. It says dress outside the lines in these five different rainbow colors. The blank itself feels really nice. It's lightweight, which I like living in San Diego. Like I rarely need more than a long sleeve like this, but it feels really nice. I'll try it on and show you guys after we finish the unboxing. Then we have, what is this? <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so freaking excited. So back in no, 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 back in November, I hit 100 rides. Sorry, I'm slamming the table and it's shaking the camera because I'm so excited. I hit 100 rides on Peloton and when you hit your Centurion ride, they send you a free shirt. But it said on, on the order, when I like put in my little code for my free shirt, five to eight weeks shipping. And now that five to eight weeks has passed. Does it, does it even say 100 rides? Okay, it says Peloton on the front. Oh, on the sleeve, okay. On the sleeve it says Century, very fancy. And then this, what, oh, I know what the, I feel like every package I'm like, what is this? Oh, I know what this is. So Shop Amber Rochelle is an amazing black owned business that I first bought from back in June. And they do these super cute tie dye sets. And when I announced, my pregnancy, the owner messaged me and asked if she could send a matching set, including the baby. And I was like, yes, of course, I would love that. So I think, I think that's what this is. Hey, there's a card. Oh, to Sierra and Steve. Does that mean I need to call Steven down for this? He's working, it's fine. Congrats on your pregnancy. Here's a little something from me to say thank you for everything you've done for my business. Can't wait to see baby and the entire fam in their matching maroon merch, XOXO Amber. Thank you so much, Amber. Oh. My God, it's not even just matching for me, Steven and baby. She also included matching ones for the dogs. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is, oh, this is so sweet. 
see. Okay, so here's Bruiser's little teeny maroon tie-dye shirt. Here's, oh, this, oh, this makes my heart so happy. I can't wait for us all to match. Here's the little zero to three month maroon onesie for baby girl. This is Bella's shirt. Very, very cute. This is Steven's. Oh, she does such a good job with these. I'm gonna link her business in the description. Seriously, the tie-dye sets are everything. And then this is mine. Oh my gosh. I think Steven's changing out the laundry. Hey, Steven. Yeah. Guess what? what? You know, uh, shop Amber Rochelle, who we got the purple tie-dye sets from? Oh, yeah. She sent matching ones for me, you, the dogs, and baby girl. <laughs> like literally, wait, come here. Look, oh. for a baby. <laughs> for Bella. <laughs> okay, I'll let you go back to work. Love you. Love you. All right, I'm back. The sheets are in the wash. And our last box is from Thrive Market. Just a couple little snack grocery items. And then one thing, or actually two things I'm really excited about. So I got these bean chips, which first of all are just delicious. I tried them for the first time, actually at my parents' house on Christmas. And I was like, holy guacamole, these are delicious. And then also because they're a bean chip, they have more protein in them than a regular chip. So I wanted to get a bag of these for myself. And then we have a bag of Boom Chick Pop, which is just, you know, a little salted popcorn, one of my go-to snacks. Got some more Banza chickpea pasta, which I really, really like. And then here are the things I'm excited about. So we were watching Shark Tank and uh, a company came on that does mushroom jerky, like beef jerky, but it's not made from beef, it's made from mushroom. And on Shark Tank, the sharks were like, this tastes just like beef jerky, it was amazing. And so Steven and I were gonna buy it and we saw that you could get it on Thrive Market and we already have a membership with Thrive. So I added this to my order, just the original flavor. And then we were texting Skylar and Kyle about it and Kyle was like, actually, there's a different brand that is my favorite kind of vegan beef jerky. And so he sent us the link and it was also available on Thrive Market, it's the Louisville vegan Vegan Jerky Co. And so I thought, let's get one of Kyle's favorites and the one from Shark Tank and do a taste test of, hold on, excuse me, <laughs> and do a taste test of vegan beef jerkies. I'm very, I'm very excited. So I'm gonna clean up this mess. I'm gonna try and organize the baby stuff as much as I can with one overflowing bin. And then I think Steven will be done with work in just a little bit here. It's about four o'clock. And so we can do the taste test together before dinner. I'm very excited. Maybe a little too excited. I mean, it's literally just vegan beef jerky, but you know what? My life isn't too exciting in these pandemic times. So you gotta, you gotta take the excitement you can get. All right, you ready for this? I'm ready. I, you know what we were just talking before this is like, I wish I had real beef jerky, real meat based. Beef, beef jerky. <laughs> I wish I had beef jerky to like compare this with since that's what it's like trying to re recreate. If anyone doesn't know, I am a vegetarian. Steven is an omnivore. You know what? I thought we do the mushroom jerky first. I is see. that not? Oh, I thought so, that's what I was opening. So the do, shark tank one. Have you, how much have you explained what we're opening here? I did. Right. So we have mushroom jerky and then a, a soy based jerky. And the soy based jerky is Kyle's favorite. And I expect the soy one to be better because, well, soy is kind of magic in what you can do with it. This kind of looks like beef jerky. It does. This is the original flavor. This is the original fa flavor. Wow, look at that. It says no meat, no soy, just shrooms. That looks like jerky. Yeah, the way it kind of like the texture. <laughs> oh. It's shredded on jerky. Yeah, you have to like rip it. That's freaking good. This is insane. This is so freaking good. For me, the crazy part is that it looks like it shreds like beef jerky. Yeah, okay. The sharks didn't lie. This is fantastic. Well, and you don't even like mushrooms. So like, that's <laughs> I know. Well, well, that's good for you that you can't tell this is a mushroom. Mm -mm. Now I'm kind of torn on like nutritional content on which I prefer because I try to limit my soy intake because of PCOS and this one is made of soy. But the mushroom jerky, it has hard, it has two grams of protein. It's Yeah, that's the problem. This is no protein. This isn't protein. Whereas this, because it's soy, it has 15 grams of protein in the whole bag. So they both have their pros and cons for me personally and like my macros. Ooh, that smells strong. Which one is this, what flavor? This is Smoky Carolina BBQ. Why'd you choose barbecue if you don't like barbecue? Cause that's the one Kyle said was his favorite. Oh, but you don't like barbecue. That's <laughs> fine. I might like it here. You should have done like teriyaki or something. This looks like a chicken strip. Yeah, so so far, this does not look like beef jerky. Mm, that's good. Way more flavorful. The other one didn't have that much flavor, but the texture, it's not, this is not fooling me into thinking it's beef jerky. Yeah, they're really different. I feel like this is a jerky alternative. Mm -hmm. This is like, I wish they didn't call it vegan jerky. It's, it's a little just, soy snack. One, it doesn't look like jerky. Yeah. This is very clearly like. <laughs> <laughs> a vegan alternative. <laughs> For me, it's the spongy texture. 
Yeah. All right, Steven, which one do you like better? I like the mushroom jerky better, but this freaking tastes awesome. The flavor. Okay, I want to try. I like the texture of this better. Flavor of this better. I'm same with you. I think overall, I prefer the mushroom jerky. Yeah, I, I, I have high hopes for that if they have different flavors, yeah. especially, well, this like barbecue flavor is awesome. Well, time to go order all the other flavors. <laughs> So we just stripped the bed of the old sheets and blankets and all that. Bruiser is uh, dirtying up our mattress. Thank you, queen. And uh, I think the sheets should be finishing up soon. We're both going to declutter our bedside tables and hopefully get started on a new foot with our new bed set. Steven made dinner, which was delicious. And then we watched all three episodes of WandaVision. <laughs> yeah, so we're caught up. Episode three came out last Friday. Very interesting. It's super different. Super different than anything yeah. <laughs> really good <laughs> i had more that i wanted to get done this evening but i'm i'm not i feel like i'm starting to deteriorate <laughs> i did really good i'm gonna lay down <sighs> you wanna lay down with me bella wants to lay down with me oh gosh i did pretty good <laughs> all day you don't have to get me in there <laughs> no i want to it's a family shot <laughs> i i felt pretty good today i feel like i got at least a little bit done. More done than I have any day in the past two weeks. Yeah, they so. did pretty darn awesome, dare I say. I feel like I wasn't as productive as I wanted to be. I wanted to like clean up the bathroom and like declutter the living room, but you know, sometimes we gotta take what we can get. Also, I still need to try. <laughs> <We're> so... Ow! <laughs> I still need to try on the Color Me Courtney sweatshirt for you guys, but I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I'll include it in this vlog though, because like I said, just not feeling great. So I think I'm gonna put on my pajamas. We'll get the bed set up and uh, have an early night here. It's about 8.30. Alrighty, the bedside table. Steven, you gotta move so you can show yours off are clean and decluttered. We have the new sheets on and the new duvet stuffed into the duvet cover. Here's one problem though. These sheets looked much darker online yeah. so they're supposed to contrast these look like the same color here yeah. it looks like a too matchy matchy I kind of agree, yeah i also don't care well <laughs> <laughs> i bought a second sheet set we didn't wash that one so maybe i'll return that get a darker color and then these can be the backups and then we're supposed to have the two pillows with the shams on top of these that match the duvet cover you excited come on Let's get up on the bed. Ooh, it's so nice. Ha, huh, guys. Daddy's turn. <laughs> nice? Very nice. <laughs> hello, hello. It is the next day. Actually, about four o'clock in the afternoon, I've been filming all day. Not for the vlog, though, for the main channel, that Curly Girl Method video. And that should be up on my main channel in probably probably a few days after this vlog goes up. So be looking out for that. But I wanted to show you guys the Color Me Courtney crew neck. Now that I've had the chance to try it on, it, it feels really nice. The quality's good. I love the color of the print. It's super vibrant. And the sweatshirt itself is like this nice kind of faded pastel pink. I got it in an extra large and it is a little bit tight around my stomach, but that is to be expected right now. But I like it. I think it's cute. So I will link this in the description. If you don't follow Courtney on Instagram, her Instagram is just just fantastic. It's all like colorful fashion. She has a Disney page as well. Definitely recommend checking her out, supporting her. I, I'm really happy with the merch. And I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye!